Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the channel. I This isn't a normal thing right here, but um, I just wanted to add in here real quick that uh, my, my dog Frazier um, actually passed away a couple couple days after the last video. Um, he, uh, you know, it was, it was of uh, natural causes and, uh, you know, I was there with him, so I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what to say. I guess I just wanted to let you guys know that he's no longer going to be in the videos, and uh, um, you know, me and me and Mason are doing okay. We're hanging in there. So, uh, <laughs> didn't want to ruin the mood here. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, I have a special video here. I think you guys might like and. Um, I appreciate it. Sorry, it's been a couple of weeks since I, I posted last. I just haven't really felt like it, I guess. So, thank you. Look, like you had a fall on your bike there. Good morning. Uh, my name is Larry. If you knew the channel, I'm actually camping here in Queen Creek, Arizona, and I have a really special video planned for this evening. But um, yeah, like I said, Queen Creek, it's 65 degrees. It is beautiful here. No complaints. Actually, I do have one complaint. Um, apparently, either late last night or early this morning, somebody pulls in in a truck camper, the trailer, and pulls in right next to my camp. I mean, out in the middle of nowhere, and this guy pulls in right next to me. Uh, I don't know who does that, but uh, actually, he's coming outside. Check this guy out. Hang on a second. Look at this guy. This dude just fell over. Sir, are you okay? Looks like you had a fall on your bike there. Yeah, these EV bikes, they're kind of dangerous. Hey, you look familiar. I do. Are you that guy from that Down by the River channel? Yeah. Vic? Vic. Hey, how you doing? You look pretty familiar too. Are you Larry from Work More and Joy Life Less? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, well, hot dang. <laughs> so we've got Vic here. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys are already subscribed to his channel, but if you're not, it's down by the river. And uh, a very similar channel is truck camping and a truck camper. And we've been wanting to meet for a long time, and uh, he is from further up north. And obviously I'm in Arizona, so uh, he just happened to be in Arizona. Uh -huh. And uh, we decided to do a collab and meet up, and here we are. Fortunately, I got some good uh, dress dress advice from the Senior Citizen Center. Um, they told me that this is the attire that you have to wear in order to be comfortable down here in this hot climate. And oh, yeah. it's working out really well, yeah. actually. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's such a beautiful day out right now. Um, I've been trying to ride my e-bike a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to jump on that and just uh, explore around here a little bit. I've never been here.
we just got back about an hour ago from riding and we were both kind of hungry so uh, Vic came up with the idea of doing like a potluck so he's making meatloaf and I'm making red beans and rice and then we're gonna meet up here in about an hour and have some dinner and I don't know why my lights are flashing it's I'm sure it's showing up on the camera but my lights are like flashing for some reason today but uh, anyways yeah so about an hour we'll be meeting up So Mason has not been the same since Frazier passed away. Um, he's just always sad looking and uh, he's not really eating. So I, you know, I guess he'll eat when he's hungry, but uh, yeah, it's, he's just, he's taking it really rough. I mean, obviously, I mean, we're, me and him are both taking it rough, but like he, I just don't know. I don't know. I just don't know if he knows what, what happened, you know. Um, I, I try to keep him occupied and hopes to get his mind off it, but, you know, I can't keep him occupied all the time. Um, so, I hopefully, uh, hopefully time will heal that wound a little bit for him and um, maybe he won't be so sad. Well, we'll see, I guess. So I got the red beans and rice all done. Um, it looks delicious. I haven't tasted it yet, but um, I guess I'm going to wait until uh, dinner. And then, uh, yeah, I'll check on Vic and see if he's done over there and meet up somewhere for dinner. We'll see what happens. Let's see if I made meatloaf well tonight or if I botched it. There you go. Thanks, sir. That works. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, and then it's six in the morning, there's people on the trails in the fall. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, it looks like you had fun though. I did, I did. It, it was great, it's like when I went on a fishing tour. Hey, you ready to go for a ride, Mason? Go for a ride. Let's stretch first, come on. So we're supposed to be running to town to grab beer, and uh, Vic said he knew a shortcut. Left as the sun sets, west at the Rocky Mountains. I, I feel like we're on the right path, I feel. <laughs> <laughs>
Roadie pup. He seems to be enjoying going off road. Um, he just sits here right between us and uh, he's been riding along and looks like he's having a good time. Vic is actually inside the store here getting drinks and then um, we'll take off here from town and head back to camp. <laughs> <laughs> what was the store like? Pretty nice. I mean, it was pretty bare essentials, but they had beer. And uh, you know those delicious little Debbie snacks? Mm -hmm. You know, the ones that are this big that used to be 25 cents? They're $2 in there. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and then gas is four, four forty nine for one gallon of 87 octane. I know. I'm kind of afraid to see what diesel's like. It's 503, I think. 503? <laughs> 